Hi, I'm Mike Rowenfeld. At Halco, they reckon that they revolutionised the world of poppers with the introduction of their rooster range. Everything from a little rooster 80 right up to the giant haymaker. They'll take any predators that like splashy surface action. And you'll see in the next couple of minutes just what you can do with these little things. It's my favourite sort of fishing, I absolutely love it. A couple of styles you can use, and we're going to show you how that works. Okay, probably the most basic way of using a popper, eddy popper, is just a straight out retrieve. Now depending on where you hold the rod tip, whether it's up high or down low, you'll get a slightly different action in the water. Okay, you get fish that are really revved up and like speed, queen fish, some trevally, it's a good way to fish them. But these days, more people are probably using the inherent splash to actually attract the bigger predators. You do that by what's called blooping. And when you bloop, you actually pull down hard on the rod tip. If you pull it high, you tend to pull the popper out of the water. But if you pull it down towards the surface, you allow the cup face on these roosters to bite water and throw forward some spray. And what it does, it looks like a small predator chasing tiny prey with that splash in front. That's the theory, and it certainly works, because these poppers have caught just about everything that swims. Now I'll show you the action for making this bloop. Okay, your first, first thing you do is you get a relatively tight line between you and the popper, otherwise you're going to waste energy. So when you've got that line a bit tight, pull down sharply on the rod tip. Pause. Pause is important. Let's fish like Trevally, which are a bit nearsighted, lets them actually home in on the lure. So you get the line tight, rip it down. And at the other end, spray is being thrown in front of the lure. Just like that. Rip it down, pause, rip it down. And alter the pause, you know, sometimes a longer pause works better than others. Sometimes you don't want much pause at all. If your adrenaline's going, you've got fish going everywhere in front of you, you tend to want to have less, less gaps because you can't help yourself. You want to rip it again and get some action. Great way to fish. So, it's so visual, you know, I mean, what's better than actually seeing a fish hit the surface and smash your lure? No wonder people love popper fishing. That's with a lighter end of the scale. Those like this little 80 I'm using, they're very light and you've got to treat them appropriately. It means that, the, you know, you've got to be a bit more careful removing the hooks because they're lightweight hooks so that the lure will work at that little lightweight size. And it helps, of course, if you can cast downwind. The bigger models, they've got a little more authority through the air, it doesn't matter so much. These little lightweight ones, use nature to your advantage. Cast with the wind and just be a bit gentle removing the hooks. I like actually flattening the barbs on my poppers because while you might lose one fish in a hundred, it's just so much kinder on the fish and the lures if you, when you're taking the trebles out if it's barbless. Typical sort of places you fish, around reefy headlands where you've got a bit of whitewash coming off, off rocks, deep, deep gutter next to rocks. You can, if you can spot fish on open sand flats, like this beautiful one we've got in front of us here, you might see a school of fish and then you just have to cast in front of it. A lot of it's just common sense. But even non sort of normally you'd consider pelagic species, you know, like, like trevally and, and queen fish and mackerel, there's other species that'll take poppers and that's a lot of the reason why you fish around reefs. Coral trout, spangled emperor, a lot of the, the sort of reefy predators love coming out of their hidey holes and, and smashing a popper as it goes past. Like that. Ah, oh, I missed him. Something out there. Why don't you check out some of this action we enjoyed on poppers yesterday. And don't forget, if you like this sort of thing, subscribe to the Halco YouTube channel. Oh. Go. Yeah, well, I don't know where to cut well, I'm just going to go to the top of here, big old. It's just going everywhere right now. Come on. I'll be yeah. blocking you.
lovely flat fishing. He's gone.